Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! A former loyalist paramilitary commander who became a so-called supergrass has pleaded guilty to 200 terrorist offences, including five murders. Gary Haggerty, who used to run a unit of the Ulster Volunteer Force, admitted the crimes as part of a deal to give evidence against other paramilitaries. The son of one of his victims said Haggerty's hands are deep in blood and he should never go free. There's some flash photography in Chris Page's report. During the Troubles, the UVF took more lives than any other loyalist paramilitary organisation. It killed more than 500 people. One of its commanders was this man, Gary Haggerty. He's pleaded guilty to 200 offences. The prosecution case document runs to around 12,000 pages, covering 16 violent years from 1991. Two of the five men who Haggerty has admitted murdering were Gary Convey and Eamon Fox. The Catholic workmen were shot dead in a building site 23 years ago. Haggerty was an informer for the security forces at the time. Eamon Fox's son believes his father's death was preventable. I don't care about the EVF. They'll make their, meet their maker someday. But it's the, the police, the people who are in authority to protect and serve. They didn't protect my family. They didn't protect this man's family or this man's family. Haggerty had a double life as an agent of the state and as a chief in a sectarian gang. He was from North Belfast, where his group had a particularly murderous reputation. So this investigation into the UVF is set to go on to another level. In 2010, Gary Haggerty signed an agreement in which he offered to give evidence in court against other paramilitary leaders in exchange for a shorter sentence for his own crimes. He's the most senior loyalist ever to turn supergrass. It's understood up to 15 UVF members could be charged if prosecutors accept that the former commander's evidence is credible. The police intelligence officers who had contact with Haggerty could also be brought to court. It is the examination of their conduct and their directions and their criminal liability which will now uh, fall to be assessed. The detective who's leading the current inquiry says today was a breakthrough. This allows us now to move forward to the next phase of the investigation where it is my intention and my hope that we will um, bring others who are responsible for those crimes before the courts as well. There'll be more waiting for the relatives of UVF victims. For now, Gary Haggerty is in solitary confinement in a high security prison. In court appearances in the future, he may be in the witness box, not the dock. Chris Page, BBC News, Belfast.